it's me, KY. We're going to do some Abduction, which is a new game from the people who made uh, Mist and Riven. Uh, and I think they may or may not have worked on some of the later Mist games as well, but those are conveniently forgotten because they weren't so good. Exile was okay, which is the third Mist game. Had some good characters, 360 view, but man, none of them quite hold a candle to Mist or Riven in particular. Mist, yeah. It's kind of, it's aged decently, but it's not like Ribbon. Ribbon's a goddamn masterpiece to me. So we're going to do that. Uh, let me get the game up. It's going to be a nice comfy stream. I do request that we keep backseating and hints and stuff. Uh, either put them away completely or at least keep them extremely minimal. Because uh, I just want to explore the game, enjoy myself. Let me see if game capture works in a moment. I actually have a notebook ready. I've lately, for games like this, I've kind of taken to... Yeah, it is working. I've kind of taken to just using a notepad file. But, you know, I figured I'd go a little bit more old school, like my dad uh, playing Myst. I remember growing up watching him play Myst and just falling in love with it as, uh, as a young bab. I must have been maybe six, seven, watching him play. So the Myst series kind of has uh, a lot of importance to me. It, uh, growing up. I talked a bit about this when I was streaming The Witness, how uh, how great Mist is and how much it means to me. How much it's part of my, I guess, gaming identity, one might say. So um, I'm going to go you know, the route that everyone did back then, and I think it was a lot of people still do now for games like this, and just use a little notebook. It's a it's teeny little field notes book, probably about, you know, four inches by two inches, pretty small. It's a graph paper in case I need to make a map, which is nice. So I've never really done this for a game before. I've always just used a notepad file. I can't think of any other than maybe the Neverhood that I played through on my own. And actually, that's not true. I played through Riven on my own when I was like 11 or 12 and actually used a notebook for that as well, or rather just a sheet of paper even. For this one, I have a teeny little notebook. So we're gonna do that. It'll be fun. This was gifted to me by Tyrion66 very generous of him and I wasn't gonna pick this up right away I was gonna wait until I got a really good paycheck uh, or went on sale or something but thanks to him uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play through some of this right now so thanks for that Tyrion all right game name uh, navigation type free roam ooh do I want free roam or point and click you know I did move my keyboard off to the side it's, it's essentially a spiritual successor to Myst Mythos, which I remember reading an interview of them saying that they uh, it felt fresh to them because they no longer had to adhere to the Myst lore that they had spent so many years building up. He had most of the money from selling all the cards he built up over five years. Yeah, that's true. Character Shadow. Uh, I think I'll just turn it off. Should we do navigation type free roam or navigation type point and click? I'll let you guys choose. I don't really care either way. Uh, Monotonous says, I just played the most disturbing vibe game I've ever played. It's called Gorn. You feel gross other playing it. Really? Interesting. Gorn. I'm going to jot that down in my notebook. Gorn. In big letters. Okay. Yeah, lore can kind of be a weight after a while, especially when you develop as much as Mist has over the years with the different novels and uh, and games and spinoffs and things like that. Uh, there was going to be a movie, too, I think, at one point. I don't think that ever happened. And Uru, which still intrigues me. I've never played Uru, Ages of Mist, because it was designed to be an MMO that they never got the MMO parts working. And so as a result... It's just these like huge empty spaces and apparently feels very lonely, uh, which kind of interests me in a way. Point and click may help if you get lost, but it is slower. Really, it's slower. Interesting. Um, kind of want to try it like point and click, but at the same time, I'm guessing that free roam might be a little bit better, a little bit smoother. Okay, let me move my keyboard back into position then. Give me a sec. Point and click sounds good to you? Oh, really? Point and click sounds fun? Oh, okay. Never mind, we'll do point and click. That's fine. Let's try it. I'm curious to see what point and click is like, and then we'll see if I want to change the free room after. Okay, game name. Production up. 
Scubduction. <laughs> okay. We'll do that. Weirdly enough, Uru is one of my favorites because of the isolation feel. Yeah. It's pretty interesting when you think about it. A, a space designed for hundreds of people at a time and then just empty. It's just you. Uru is also interesting because it takes place in the real world, whereas the other Mist games, I guess they're in the same universe as our world, but none of them took place on Earth, whereas Uru, for at least a portion of the game, took place on Earth, which is pretty interesting. All right. Scubduction. Let's do it. Oh, okay. So I guess this is going to be kind of like, um, kind of like Exile, where you. Also, is there just any sound? There is sound, although I have to turn it like way up. I don't know if that's going to increase later. So I guess it's kind of like Exile. We all lost everything. Oh wow, that is going to be slow, isn't it? But our stories. Let me know how volume is. I was three. Oh, oh, it doesn't lock the mouse. Come on. It was 1870 for you. Damn. Oh, no. Yesterday, but it's been 62 years since you saw that. I'm going to wait for this dialogue and then... Well, then again. Let me switch in keyboard. Because it doesn't lock the mouse. Go figure. You think they would have that figured out. Um, controls. Oh, cursor mode locked. It does say locked, but the thing is, it when you go to the rightmost side, if you're scrolling right, you click outside the window, because it clicks like the edge of the window. You can change the transition for the point and click style. Ugh. God damn it. So we keep that locked. Instant fade. Let's see what fade is like. Left, interestingly, doesn't have that problem. It's only when I'm scrolling right, I get a little resize icon on the very edge of the window, and then clicking clicks me out. So it's not a, really a, a true lock. But, you know, I could probably adjust to it. What does it say? Use only designated campfire pits. Oh. Physicus. No, I've never heard of Physicus. So that's Fade. Light. That's where all of our new stories begin. It streaked across the sky. Mesmerized. But unnerving. Even in Daylight, Joseph, you said it was gloriously bright. But in the twilight... What was with her voice there? Did you hear that? Spellbinding. Whether it was in the deep woods like Cecil, or right outside town like Jane and Jenny, we were drawn to see more. Can't Here scroll right too far. You recall smiling. Some of you were alone. I wasn't. My dear grandma, God bless her. Rejoiced as if some forebearer of good fortune. Grandma lifted me. I want to see what instant is like. Sorry to interrupt the story here. Me from the carriage on the porch and walked into the yard. I almost prefer instant. It's more like mist. Unobstructed. Yeah. Nothing feels right. <laughs> Nothing feels right, no matter what I do. We'll stick with fade and point and click for now. I might change to free roam later. If the locked mouse, the unlocked, the semi-locked mouse starts to bother me. Oh, just like that. Five dollar USB microphone sound. Oh, you mean the, the voice acting. I thought you were talking about me for a second. I was like, no. I found, uh, where'd it go? Oh, I didn't go nearly as close to the table as I thought I was going to get. God damn it. Always turn left a la Zoolander. 
you know, it's not a bad way to explore a lot of these, like, maze-like spaces. To just hug one wall. At least until you start looping and then take a change, None but... None of us understood. But, well... And we all felt some kind of trepidation, yet attraction. So we approached you and... Sorry, you guys. You all remember. There was Ooh. no turning away. Oh my god. Advanced. Almost like purposefully spinning slowly until well found us, each of us. Oh, that sound. We should tell these stories because it, it saved us and Abduction. I've been abducted by the space seed. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. In control. A lantern. Can I? Oh, hang on, I saw a thingy. Oh, that's interesting. There's a little circle it fills up when and you can interact with it. Alright, do the blue pillars ever go away? Time to click and point. Yeah, I always click before I point. Oh, look, there's a creature. And a giant planet or a moon or something up there. Watching as a 4G, wish me luck. Good luck, man. Interestingly, I can walk pretty close to these walls. Can you turn off the, the blue pillars? God, stop clicking outside. Let me see if I can turn off the little blue pl blue pillars here. Fade cursor size. I think I might also turn this down a little bit. Uh, mouse sensitivity is pretty good. Or Y axis navigation type graphics. Motion blur field of view resolution scale. V sync off. I don't know why that got turned back on. No thank you. Ambient. Footstep volume. Hint glints are off, so that's not those things. Interaction guides. That might be what. No. So those are not interaction guides, they're like movement guides. Boob pillars show where you can click. No disabling unless you want to free room, sadly. Okay. Well, thanks for the heads up. How are you liking the game so far? Ben. Bentendoists. Alright, I guess I'll keep the Hinklins on for now, since they're on by default. What is this? Ooh! Hunrath. What'd that do? It just alerted somebody that I've made it this far. Hello. Bonjour. Oh, the FMV, I love it. Hello. Thank you for the host, Derp. confused and disoriented but let me reassure you everything will be fine you're not the first to go through this experience the others who have come before you will help you adjust follow the trail to the house with the white picket fence Farley will meet you there oh Chris and Farley introduce you to your new life here. he didn't die he just came to abduction he came to Hunrath
Oh my gosh. It is kind of creepy, but the FMV is very much like a mist tradition type thing. Ooh, okay, that lag. Wow, look at that. Yeah, if I turn right enough, I need to go slightly left before I click or else I click outside. Ooh, I just got really disoriented. Okay, so I just came from there. Okay. Is there anything over here? Ooh, that, ro that rock is totally glowing. Glowing red. Wondering if, if I should write that down. Glowing red rock near house. Ah, come on. That's the thing too, when you have 360 view, um, you can pretty easily get disoriented sometimes, like the camera will lock in a way that you don't expect. But it's not too bad. Oh look, a switch. I don't know what it does. So it begins. Ugh. Obviously that switches the direction. Fuck. The direction that the train goes. I just want to see if I can actually see the difference down here. So right now it's separated from the right. Separated from the left. Okay, so I can change the direction the train goes, which I'll probably need to destroy that boulder or something, maybe. It's going to have VR support eventually. Any mail? Hey, there's mail. To Carolyn, or whomever else might come back. It has been five days, and not a soul has returned. I am inclined to believe that things have not gone well. Yet surprisingly, I am still alive, and that both supremely per er, perplexes me and gives me some per uh, portion of hope. I have retreated to my vault for protection and to contemplate my options. C.W. So, uh, retreated to my vault. Okay, so there's a vault somewhere. Guess I'll explore the house if I can. Okay. <laughs> Farley's Community Center. This is very pretty so far. Hi, Farley. What? Probably not safe here. To be blunt, we're getting ready for a battle. I don't know what they'll find. I just thought I should. Um, just be cautious. With who you trust, CW may be here. I don't know. Just be careful. I got to go. So do we not trust CW? And don't panic. As jarring as this experience is, you really will find how to to be a decent price. Turn my speakers up just a little bit, just so I don't miss any important sounds. And I can go back behind the house. And interestingly, there's two paths here. One that goes up that hill, and one that goes down, to, down to the side of the hill. But first, I want to explore the house. Warning, what is that symbol? Doors locked, of course. Should have guessed that. Cannot open one of these windows. Clearly a window's open. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop clicking outside. It's really starting to bug me. CW is KY's evil twin brother. Oh no! Yeah, he's clean shaven, no glasses. He wears contacts. Or got LASIK. Ugh. The idea of LASIK kind of skews me out, gonna be honest. So 
So there's mul wow, there's a couple of planets. There's that. Wait, I count one, two, I guess maybe just two, but hmm. I don't know which direction to go in first. I guess I could start heading towards that red laser. That might be a good starting point. Or we could head along the train tracks that way. Hmm. Um, KY, if we have not played this yet, we'll be up for suggestions. Actually, for this game, I think I'd prefer not. Um, I don't know. Use good judgment, I guess. Could head towards that. And there's another. Whoop. I feel like there should have been more to the house to start, but I guess until I get a key, I won't be able to do too much. I'll check one more time at the house before we move on, then we'll decide what direction we want to go. The blinking starting to give you motion sickness. Yeah, it's kind of skeeving me out a little bit too. Tell you what, we're going to switch. I'm sorry guys who really wanted the point and click, but I'm not feeling it for this, ironically. Maybe I'll just use a controller so I can still have my mic in front of me. Um, I don't know. Free realm. Yeah, that's going to be much better. And I'll turn up the, the mic volume since it's now sitting a bit away from me. There you go, you should be able to hear me okay. Dude, the walking speed is just horrendously slow. <laughs> if it didn't flash to black. Um, oh, okay. Well, I can do that. Check it out. Uh, if I do point and click and then change this to instant, then it is instant. Yeah, I guess that is a little bit nicer. Okay, I'll stick with that for a little bit. Moving all my stuff around. Turn my mic back down since I want to blow your ears out. Thanks for the sticking with me during the technical stuff. Okay. Let's try that for a bit. Let me know if that's better. Uh, and then I might switch to free roam after a little bit. Come on. Oh, I was going to check, just take one more look around the house just in case there was something I missed. Cannot go back there. I guess not. No hidden key somewhere. Still got to stop clicking outside the window. You know, it makes me wonder if even, even if I do free roam, if I'll still be clicking outside the window a little bit. Maybe there's an easy way to turn that off. Maybe I just got to restart the game or something. I don't know. So we're looking at the house windows. Let's try. I can, nah, not really. It looks pretty dark in there. Oh, there we go. So you can, it's kind of interesting. In fact, the blue pillar is a little bit useful for situations like this, because if this were Mr. Riven, it wouldn't have that blue pillar, and you'd figure, oh, this is as close as I can get, because clicking this wall doesn't do anything. Oh, except this time it did, apparently. Um, but it shows you when you can move in tiny increments, and usually that can be important. I think the black stripe down here is interesting. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, it's just the door. Okay. One of them was just a regular walking animation. It's a little slow for my liking, though. All right, uh, so let's decide which direction we want to head in. Ooh, look at that. I didn't notice that the first time. Also doesn't help that any time I turn right, I need to turn slightly left if I want to keep going. <laughs> ah, I wish I could look at this from the front. 
Okay. Let's decide which direction we want to go. Let's step back a little bit. There's some hopscotch too. Apparently I can't walk that way. Okay, so I'm kind of curious to head in the direction of that red laser. Uh, do I have a favorite mist stage? It would probably be Riven if you count it. If you mean mist as a series, it's probably Riven. Um, the the Marble Age from Exile was kind of cool, but if you're talking about the original Mist, my favorite age, man, I think the ship, the 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 uh, the boat age was the one that I remember most fondly, but not particularly. A manhole cover got brought over with you. I didn't notice that. Um, free, free roam has a slow walking speed. Well, you can run with shift. That's not why I switched back. I switched back because instant is apparently fixing it for most pe people. The sickness. And once again, there's another switch. You can see it move back and forth, which I'm not sure which way I'm going to need it at first, but we'll find out. It's like there's a little town. Nah, I'm not in free roam. Free roam would just be WASD controls. So there is a red rock here. It's weird. I'm just going to jot that down. Red rocks along tracks. So I don't forget them. When I first played this game before the Mitness, the Witness released. It was the first time I had seen the ending to Mist. Played this game? Oh, you mean played Mist? That was the first time you'd seen the ending? Another warning symbol. for that rock. Can you front seat game and just sit on my lap? Yeah, dude, I want all 250 people on my lap. Let's do it. Make it work, you know, somehow. Another switch. Apparently I can't travel there from here. A mysterious cave. Ooh. Anytime you hear the music cut out like that, it means I've clicked outside the window by accident. I'm tempted to just try restarting. Um, has anyone who's played this before, can you test it in window mode and see if you have the same issue? When scrolling right. The hell? Where did I just go? That's apparently not significant. Okay. Let's check out this hologram. If I can. There we go. Downtown Hunrath. It's like a ghost town. Murpurpur. supplied plenty of food for many generations. The buildings around town serve multiple purposes, including housing, schooling, and storage. I'm sure you have run across a number of folks already. Many were brought here, like you, and some actually were born here. We all feel we are a part of the whole. Oh, I didn't, Zangoose. I forgot to. <laughs> Interesting. So we have three characters so far. We have Yosef, CW, and Farley. Another warning symbol. Can't walk over there, apparently. I feel like I should be able to. 
Jen Trigger says I can see it clearly. He's talking about the this thing on the edge of the window when you move to the right. Or are you talking about something else? Yeah, the mayor's clearly a goddamn alien. This view, though, it's beautiful. It is slightly unsettling, that's for sure. Kind of like mist, in a way. But immediately a bit more daunting, because the island of mist is small enough that you can kind of get a really quick idea of everything on the island within the first five minutes. I wonder what the point is of walking on this roof. I guess I could just walk right down. Can I? Actually, I can't. It's really odd. What's the point of being up here? Ah. And there's another hologram. If I can get off this roof. The tree. That's one tree, all right. <laughs> Our ecosystem. It has provided many surprises over the years, including some interesting seeds that you will learn more about. Many have postulated, yet we really know very little about its origins. But we do know it should be cherished and protected. Now he's clearly a goddamn alien. Clearly. Oh, you can also see there's a, a power line, which inevitably I'm going to have to trace at some point to see what it powers once I find the switch it's connected to. I know how this shit goes. Bridge up there. Hmm. Locked. How's the the um, transitioning, guys? You guys feel okay about it? Is anyone getting sick? Because I can change the free roam pretty easily. If you want me to. I don't care either way. Okay, so this is the entrance to the tree, which I can't go in right now. It's just near the, do the leaves on that tree look terrible. You're getting sick, says Miker. I'm fine. I'm like half and half, honestly. I don't know what it is. I think it's the constant moving and then jarring change, moving, jarring change. Transitions are a little, you find disorienting. Okay, let's switch. I'm not really feeling it either, to be honest with you. You'll get slightly less mic quality because I gotta move it to the side for my keyboard. Free roam and Okay. Alrighty. There we go. Can you guys still hear me okay? You might have noticed a hit in mic quality, but I can't see how much yeah, I think this is nicer. And I can run. This is the running speed. This is the walking speed, which is really slow, but it's kind of nice, too. The witness has spoiled you, yeah. And yeah, I'm going to move my window just a little bit. There we go. Mic sounds exactly the same. It's, it's subtly different. I've tested the two positions before. So there's a water pump. Can I fall off this? Uh, actually, I can't. Okay. Invisible walls. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Because it'd be frustrating if I just fell off that.
Good thing you have this great wandering simulator. Epic quality in the options. Yeah, <laughs> epic. Yeah. Do look how epic these graphics are. They do look really nice. I'm gonna be honest. Try placing the mic sideways. It doesn't go sideways with the kind of stand it's on. Okay. And there's clearly a bridge. A lot of this is just going to be me kind of orienting myself and trying to get a grasp for how the world is actually put together. So I'm going to need to go across this bridge. It doesn't look like there's an easy way up there right now. Okay. Let's go explore some more. Epic is actually what the quality setting is called in Unreal Editor. Really? Wow. That's interesting. Look, I totally missed this building. Oh, and I can still click outside the window. Ah, that's so frustrating. Okay. What's this? Open door. I can't click any of it. Pen. The crosshair only appears when you're not moving. So just a little bit funky. Backer reward item. Look at that. This was a Kickstarter title, so you'll see those throughout. Look at this room. This place was an empty ghost town in hell. It would be a fun place to live like damn. <laughs> UD has fantastic as default highest setting. Unreal has epic. Couldn't they just call it best? You know? Because, you know, there are games that even when set to fantastic are going to look like absolute trash. And once again... Hey, do not approach anything that even remotely resembles this diagram unless it has been disabled. Now, oddly, weren't those black before? Is that a glitch? I'm going to go back and check the one at the house just because just I'm curious. That could be a glitch, I guess. Low, medium, high, very high, highest, epic, fantastic. That is a bug. Check it out. They're all gone now. Oh, man. Now I don't, like, trust the game. <laughs> I don't trust it. You ever have that happen where, like, you think something's intentional and then later you figure out it's a bug and then all of a sudden you just don't trust the game as much? You're like, well, shit. What if what I'm looking at is a bug? I don't think it's like a Talos Principle simulation because we got very overtly kidnapped at the beginning. Alright, let's follow the mysterious spooky cave. There are times when I'm just going to go to my default walk speed for the sake of immersion. An atmosphere. Oh, there's nothing really in this cave right now. You can see the... goes up to there. I'm just following this just because I'm curious if I can go anywhere near it right now. Doesn't look like it. Let's go... Oh no, I can't go that way. Okay, let's go past the town. We're going to go this way now. It leads to the room in the house. Did it just loop around? There's the room in the house. I didn't even notice that they connected. Oh, what? Oh, uh, what? That's what happens when you click space, I guess. Screenshot mode is, for some boggling reason, bound to space. Higher, high, higher, highest, optimist, prime. Ooh, look at that cool building. And another tunnel. No, see, this is the other side, clearly. 
and I'm probably going to need to clear the way before whatever train I get going through for the final puzzle of the game does that. Ugh. Go that way in a minute. Back a reward item. Okay. Photo viewer doesn't even really work quite right if you take a lot of pictures. Really? God damn. I'm guessing it does what other games do and cranks up the graphical settings for just a split second to get a screenshot, which is why it lags for a moment. You can even see it change. Still haven't seen a puzzle in this game. Where are the puzzles? You know, to be fair, a Mist was very much like that too in a lot of ways. Or Riven, rather. A lot of them weren't overt puzzles and more just like different uh, interconnections in the world. Now, what is this? I can just walk right through it. Whatever it is. This is the Talos Principle. Oh shit, no. Will this kill me eventually? It turns my sight really cool and blue, but it does not hurt me. button. Button don't do nothing. Or did it? Nah, clearly didn't. It removed the field at the gate? What did? Ah! Oh my god! Remove the field at the gate. I'm not sure what you mean. What the fuck? Okay. Hey, bug. Bug. Get over here. Ah. None of the buttons do anything to start. <gasps> oh. Hey there, Atris. You don't look real. Prison age confirmed. All right, maybe it's good time for me. No more waiting around. I guess I could do it all on my own if I had to. Well, could speed things up a bit with your help. First off, you should know what this old place is what batting down to. That old car from Mofang Battle. Mofang. Matrix. Glad you're still writing books and stuff. I think Akinar and Atris had the same actor actually, and then Cirrus was somebody else. 
Look at that water. Wow. That light. Hey, a switch that works. Hey. Hey. Maybe it's gonna be like mist where I can send it down and get whatever's on top of it. Okay, I'll do it on the way back. See, this looks like it's going to lead to a whole other area. Yeah, let's go the other way first. Hey. Open door! <laughs> Do no doors work? They all just wiggle. Alright, I've come to redirect you. Can't seem to interact with it. What is it shooting? There's something floating there that's hitting. Something invisible. It's pretty interesting. Hmm. Doesn't seem like I can interact with it though. The bridge going across. That goes up. Nothing down there. Is that all there is to this building down here? Oh, it locks you in the elevator after you flipped it. And then it's just a bridge that goes back to that. What about that building? Is that just completely walled off? PBR is good for, you know, cheap hipster beer. At a college party, it's, it does just fine. Beats the shit out of Corona, that's for sure. Okay, I haven't been this way. And I have a feeling the lights are just going to denote, basically just to give me an indicator, indication of how far the power is stretching or something. I can't seem to do anything else here. Eventually I'll have a minecart there or something. I have not played The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, but I've heard some interesting things. It seems like it's kind of a cult game. You know. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go up and along that path then. Well, in this mode, I'm clicking outside the window way less, so that's good news. Rich Evans doesn't drink, really? Huh. You're talking about physically based rendering. Oh, <laughs> I'm talking about Pab's Blue Ribbon. <laughs> okay, that just goes back down there. Okay. You'll notice in games like this, I do a lot of retreading steps, even if they're ones that I literally just took. So if that infuriates anyone, I don't blame you. Uh, it's just kind of how I process, you know, the world that I'm in for games like this. Get a good mental map of it by retracing steps, even ones that I had only just done. We were, and now we're talking about bear. <laughs> you know, PBR the bear. Perry Bear Randy. Achievement lock, let it flow. Hey, just open that. Can I close it if I need to? I can't. Which stays very conveniently. Let you walk over here to see what you just did. See how you've ruined this world. I solved my first puzzle, Mom. Are you proud of me? Okay. You should try out. It's pretty good. What? Pab's Blue Ribbon or a pre based rendering? Whatever it was. Perry Bible Fellowship. <laughs> I love Perry Bible Fellowship. There's a path over here, too. 
which this looks like it connects to a completely different area different zone if you will a, a weird wobbly zone look it's actually a literal wall which you kinda you can tell something's really weird with it when you're walking up to it but then when you look up you can quite literally see the wall it's, it's bubbled off it's the Moiety Age from Riven penis beepus rod yeah pizza baby Randy <laughs> I just imagine this little delivery baby that straps pizza to its back and crawls through your window with a box of pizza hey it's pizza baby Randy he brought my pepperoni okay I think that's it that's up here Pale baby, rancid. <laughs> this made me feel real gross, Easy D. Uh, where am I going? I want to go down. The other half of the time when I'm retracing my steps, it's because I'm just lost. What's my opinion on peanut butter and what kinds you eat? Um, I love peanut butter. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm pretty vanilla though. I just eat Jif, but honestly, I'm not picky. Sometimes I'll get like the Trader Joe's um, organic peanut butter, whatever it is, and it's still pretty good. It clearly tastes different, but it's still really good. I don't think I've ever had a peanut butter that I don't like. I like it, you know, chunky, wavy, smooth. Whatever. I don't care. I know I've been this way before, I just wanted to look up at the windmill. I don't know why. Okay, we cool. Cashew butter, I have not. Wave dash my sandwich. No, wave dashing is is a glitch. I don't do that to my sandwiches. I play like a real... I eat my sandwiches like a real person should. The waterfall. Reminds me of looking at the trees in Mario, the way they're always facing you, the same side. In Mario 64. Hmm. Interesting. I did that. Yay! I did that. That was me. Is there anything else over here? Ooh, ooh! This reminds me of a puzzle. Oh, just some grading. Back here, it looked like dots. Yeah, you see that? I think it's just some grading, though. I don't think it's an actual puzzle. Just reminds me of one. If I were Professor Layton, I'd turn that into a puzzle, but I'm not. Oh, I looked down. The water was rushing to the right, and I thought I was moving left for a split second. See, that connects to something on the other side. Okay. What? Uh, so I can change which way the direction the, the water is flowing. Very deliberately. Doesn't seem to do too much, though. a weird mark. Or I could have them both flow evenly. Or just close off one side entirely. 
But it doesn't seem to really make a difference when you look through the crack. Uh, that game is The Witness, Mateu. Hey! Oh, I see, because the water's pushing it that way. Get it. Get it. So I can go that way when I'm ready. Can I make it go the other way? I guess there's not much of a point, is there? Oh, I guess I gotta just change it back. Will that even work? Okay. And notice that it's also completing a bridge up above. And it cannot turn further that way. Oh, I see. This locks it. You can actually see the thing moving up and down. I totally didn't notice that the first time. It's a subtle animation. Okay, so I can go that way when I'm ready. I think I'll do that in a little bit. Um, let me write that down so I don't forget. Kind of as a little to-do list. So, we have the... Um, the water switch path. I'm going to call this my my to-do page. To-do. So that's just a page for just a list of things that I need to do, places that I need to remember to go back to. Oh, watch. This door's probably not going to open anyway. Yep. How did I know? Okay. So I guess we're just going to do that now. Shit. Yeah, so spend development at the same time for most of their dev time. Yeah, I think the uh, the witness and abduction were developed pretty close together, but the witness was in development for a lot longer. Abduction, I think it's only been a couple of years. And then at some point, I need to approach that bridge from the other side with this closed. You and your dad backed it. That's pretty awesome. I didn't back it. I knew it was going to succeed anyway. If we got to the final hours and it still was looking like it might fail, then I would have backed it. But I tend to not back anything these days that is just an outright success. Back a reward item. It's beautiful. This area is pretty chill. Reminds me of the Ark from Soma. Okay, and this is probably going to go up to that bridge, but I need to find a way to loop around because I can't close that and then go up this path. Plus, I got to drop that first because it looks like stairs, unless there's a way for me to do that from here, which I don't think there is. Okay. Soma was a fantastic game. I liked Soma a lot. I liked it more than Amnesia. It was one of my favorites. Coca-Cola Life. I've never heard of that. Huh. And you can see it's some more power power lines. Oh, I keep hitting that instinctively to jump and it's just the crappy screenshot button. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The teeniest bench in the world for pizza baby Randy when he needs to rest on his journey to deliver pizzas. There's a bench. In fact, I think I passed that bench earlier. Ooh. Ah, pizza baby Randy's bench is blocking me. Look at this building. This is their it's the fear sphere. The disease sphere from PAX. 
Can't seem to interact with its wheels. On oh, a sweep, a uh, uh, bike. Jeez, it took me forever to think of the word bike. That's how tired I am. Can I ride the bike? Hop on, Big Daddy. Let's do it. Nope. Oh, I gotta get my Fultons. Any sphere-like building is just going to remind me of Riven. I just can't help it. Yeah, we can't even use the sweep bike. How disappointing. We probably will at some point. Don't say daddy. I can't help it. I've been watching Hellraiser, man. They say daddy like all the time. Uh, we've been catching up on the Hellraiser series because I've never seen it before. First movie, pretty good. Uh, like, just slightly doofy, but overall I enjoyed it. Second movie... Wasn't feeling it as much, but it got more into the lore, and I was like, all right. I could totally get behind this, even if it's not as good as the first. Third movie. Total shit show. Um, I still liked it. I liked watching it, but man, it made the first two movies look like masterpieces. They just made a total joke out of Pinhead. They totally changed his demeanor, his seemingly his motivations. They changed the scene of bites. It was just kind of, uh, I don't know. I'm glad I watched it, but uh, I can't say it was particularly good. Are those the danger rocks? Yeah, that's what I was wondering, Tyrion. These might be the things that um, they were warning against on their doors. Which Vine Sauce member is going to ride off with you into the sunset? Psh, hootie. But I'm still enjoying it. I kind of want to watch the rest of them still. Because I have a feeling the fourth couldn't be worse than the third. I've, I've, I just got a feeling the third that the third movie is the low point. I don't think there's anything else I can do in here until I rotate this rock. It almost looks like the entrance to a temple or something, but... Hmm. With weird glowy rocks. There's a weird trail effect. Do you see that? on the tree when I do this. <sighs> okay. Nothing really up there. Yeah, I think the reason I disliked Hellraiser 3 so much was just the way they treated Pinhead. I did some research, though. Apparently, they meant for... They didn't see Pinhead as being a major character. Or, like, the, the main focus, I guess. They looked at, um... What's her face? Julia. They thought she was going to be the wildly popular character, and then she wasn't. So, for the third movie, they decided to focus more on Pinhead. Another door I can't open. Okay. It's dangerous. Looks dangerous to me, at least. Hey, that missed reference. I recognize this. There's a fuel drain, which I might also need to do. Let's see if it drains down into anything in particular. the voltage. Probably need to check the back to see if the drain goes into anything. I don't think the drain does. I figured we might need to do both at some point. There's a That's kind of a puzzle trope where there's one obvious solution and then there's a secondary usage for the non-solution, you know? But I have a feeling we're going to need to keep that there. There's also this. Probably need to get fuel in it before I do this. Oh god.
Uh, click. Actually, I don't even need to drag it. I can just click it. Interesting. Okay, we'll have to figure that out. A lot of the early games in Mister. Well, I got to figure that one out later. There's some jet set radio graffiti in this game. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Bebop. Thicklos. Wero. Max Gur Ter Net Goo Cap. Graffiti Man. Fly, butterfly. Fuel cans, maybe. And a little factory. A satellite dish area. God damn, there's so much to take in here. My favorite book series. If it had to be a series, um, man, I'm not huge into a bunch of series. The only one I can really think of is Harry Potter. Uh, but I do really like Kurt Vonnegut's books, his individual books. They just tend to be my favorites. I really like Philip K. Dick. I've been meaning to check out this series of books by Gene Wolfe called The Book of the New Sun. I don't know if anyone's read that. It's kind of like a sci-fi fantasy thing. But I've heard really good things. Hmm. This looks like it's going to head back towards that water pump, maybe. Did Philip K. Dick or Vaughn get right anything that qualified as a series? Um, not particularly. Not that I can think of. I know that uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep did get a sequel, but I don't think Philip K. <laughs> Dick wrote it. Um, actually, I think it had like three sequels. He might have writ written one of them, but I know he didn't work on the other ones. Okay. So that leads to that. Let's follow this pipe. Yeah. Uh, J.G. Ballard books. I uh, have not. Kilp Fay Dick. Most of Vaughn's books are linked in one way or another. Yeah, that's true. They they clearly have some recurring characters. Ooh, a map! Yay! Look, C.W. is all the way over there. Although that, well, no, because that was Farley's house, which I took up here. Tower, sphere, tunnel, scrap. And then the red pipe, which is, might be that. That could be the red pipe. Let's see, if that's the red pipe, that would put Farley to the far left, which does make sense. I think Farley is that way. Okay. Screenshot it. Yeah, this one I'll just screenshot. Um, there we go. High Rise and Crash by Ballard. Do I like There Will Be Blood? Um, if you're talking about the movie, yes. If there's a book of it, I've never read it, but I did really enjoy the movie of There Will Be Blood. It's kind of an exhausting movie in some ways, but... I really liked it a lot. Screenshot it with your mind. I'm guessing it's one of those things that you just gotta check up on every once in a while. You know? Because it looks like there's lights on them, so I'm guessing I need to power each of those areas. In fact, this is probably the generator itself and I need to get... Yeah, you can see the different wires coming out from it. Daniel Day-Lewis is really great. I agree. Rodeo fuel.
A. Full. Yay. Now it's not doing any noise. Oh, it's not on. Derp. Hey. It's based on oil by Upton St. Clair. Sinclair. Yeah, that's right. I do remember reading that actually. Did it work? Hey, hey, we did it. Which that in turn Hey Look at all the things we just powered. We still have not powered the garage and the ramp, however. But we powered a lot of things. So that's good. You can hear it humming. Nice. We did it. We still gotta head to the area past that. I hope I don't need to head back here to refuel periodically. That would be fucking terrible. I hate games that do stuff like that. It's just tedious. Tedious work, you know. Unless there's a good reason for me for them to want me to return here. Alright, so we've pumped the fuel. What is that? Look at that. There's a robot in there. We're gonna get to him. What does electricity do? The real question is what does electricity not do? Look around you, man. No smoking. No, I want to get to the robot. Let me in. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in. Oh, I don't see any path in. Probably need to approach from from the back. What kind of weapons do you have? Well, I assume I'm going to get a plasma rifle at some point. Yeah, that's it's a given, right? Hmm. Alrighty. You know, now that there's power back in town, I could probably press that button that was locking that one door. Riggsville, Erickson, next left. Backer reward item. Okay. I can't actually dial things. This is going to be important. Let's see. 1971. Seven. One. Nothing. There's also the operator. It's probably important. You mean this? This is probably not important because it's a backer reward item. That's my guess. But this will probably be important because I can interact with it. Probably got to put a code in here. Or what's that guy's name? CW? Oh shit. Ah, just clicked outside again. C. W. Or maybe I should type in Farley or something. Or Yosef. F. A. R. L. E. Y. Farley didn't do anything. Let's try Yosef. J. O. S. E. F. 
Nope. Well, I almost guarantee you whatever I got to put in here will be a numer or um, an, uh, an actual word instead of a number sequence because uh, why else would they just put the the letters there unless I had to use them? All right, I guess we'll go past. Well, we can go this way if this is a way. I've never played Viser uh, Viseric Clean Up Detail. I've heard it's pretty good. Okay. Is this thing still running? I'm gonna check the fuel in it. Okay, good. I'm starting to worry about it, man. Could just be for authenticity, I guess. I have a feeling that it's gonna be a word though. Whenever you get play this game, you get paranoid of everything, you screenshot every little thing. I've gotten pretty keen at figuring out what is important and what's not, but I've been wrong before, so. Go in there, it looks cool. The Hapland Flash games. It sounds familiar. Hapland, Hapland. I don't think I I might have played one of them at one point. It sounds really familiar. I'm gonna have to look it up because I might have might have played it. Do you spring for Dark Souls 3 to play it before the DLC, or do you get the Guild Wars 2 expansion? If I had to choose, I would choose Dark Souls, but that's just me. What if you go in there and the door also doesn't open? I almost fucking guarantee that's going to happen. Ah, uh, man, this building is just a cock tease. I can't get in there. Gonna get to go to the cool floaty island soon, hopefully. Oh, is this an invisible wall? Looks like it's gonna be. Yep. Uh, well, not completely. Just the ones leading into the purple land. It's like we're in a giant dome. Yeah, I think we're in a huge dome. Look at the red, like, obelisks all around the dome. Interesting. I like it. I like it. I gotta say. Why'd they bring me here and put me in this dome? It's goddamn aliens. We are kind of trapped. Good thing we don't need to eat or anything. Also, there is a path that leads to that back there. Did I just miss a miss an area? I'm just gonna take one more quick look, if y'all don't mind. Okay, I saw this. There's the path. And then this just leads straight to the edge of the dome, doesn't it? There's nothing else over here. Hunger meter is probably really low right now. There's a path here, kinda, but not really. It's really interesting.
Alrighty. Weird purple aliens kidnapped us and brought us here. We're gonna figure out why. What what could they want with us? Is the GPM alien dude GPM kidnapped us, brought us here. Which reminds me, I realized earlier, because I'd noticed lately that GPM doesn't appear on my following list, like, of the people I follow. And I was like, how come GPM's not appearing? It's appearing with, on Carrie's end. And then it hit me. For some reason, I'm not following GPM. I might have never been following him in the first place. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened. It really confused me, though. I thought, he was, I thought it was a glitch. I honestly did. I was like, why the hell isn't GPM appearing? I gotta remember to go back and follow him, make sure I'm following him, rather. Yeah, it was really bizarre. Okay. I think that's all we can do in this little area. We powered some things, so that's good. So that means anything that I come across, I'll have to go back and check. Like this up here because it might be powered now. Nope. Sup? Cat son. Carrie just brought Harvey over. He's just flopped. Anchor boy. Yeah. CWS, you get the power on, what else does he want? Uh, that's a good question. Was that CW? I didn't even realize I was CW. I just thought it was a random person. Meow, meow. Harvey. Guess we're heading back to town. Yeah, we should go back and talk to him. Uh, why am I going up here? Now Harvey already fucked off. I would show him on camera, but he's gone. He's already gone again. Have I played with that button on the pillar by the bike? I didn't realize there was a button. Let me go back. Button on the pillar by the bike. on the pillar. Holy shit. How did I miss this? Thank you, Mythos. Holy shit. How did I miss this? Okay. I think the bike is just what they use to do those wheels. I'm not sure if it's anything significant. Or maybe it's a backer reward. I don't know. Alright. So that rotates the, th the central thingy. Which I'm not sure which direction I want it going. This is going to need to complete a path. Which I don't know if there is a good path right now. Maybe later on there will be. You know I'm going to have to click this in every position and then go up and check it. It's just the only way. Probably not even going to go anywhere right now anyway. It, that might just be hitting the top of the dome. I just realized. It's not like this dome is very big. This game is, we don't know what it's about yet. We just know we were kidnapped and brought to the strange world, and now we're exploring the world. That's all we know. How did I miss this button? Wonder how many positions this even has.
Going diagonal makes you go square root of 2 divided by 2 times faster. Maybe. Here. Here. Just gonna strafe everywhere. Like this. I have a feeling that whatever direction I need this in right now, it's not gonna make any difference. Or it doesn't seem like it's gonna make a difference. It has eight positions, okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna make any difference right now. Eventually it will. Right now it doesn't. Maybe this sphere is a scouting tool, maybe. Maybe you're just supposed to look out. Maybe to help you see. Yeah, it's possible. Hope you guys don't mind me running back and forth. I just want to be certain. These definitely look like they should continue, however. And that actually connects the pathway there. It's kind of nice. Thanks for the host, Tobash. It's for later. Gonna be straight with you just to save time. Okay. I'm fine with that then. Okay. So it's gonna be for later. That's what I figured. How dare you play the game you want to? Dude, you'd be surprised how, like, legitimately upset some people get. They're like, why are you still doing this? Move on! Like, no, go down that path, KY. Some people get really upset. Okay. Let's see, and... Actually, maybe that door will open now. Okay. Uh, it's not even really a button because the door just wobbles. Looks like it's a button. Okay. Well, I guess we should go back and talk to CW. Why are you so bad at this video game? I've never played before. I've had people... I've, I've streamed brand new games. Literally just came out. Have people convinced that they know the answer and that I'm doing it wrong. Until eventually I get so frustrated that I decide to try it their way and it doesn't work. And they're like, oh, lol, I was just, I was just guessing. Uh, I was just guessing. It's like, if you're just guessing, why were you so fucking insistent? God damn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe we should talk to CW first. Let's do that. Oh, also notice that the light's on. Now. Music's super nice. Hey, bro. I turned on the power for you. No, it's Cecil. Oh. Cecil. better than the 3D models from Mist 5, so...
said Scarlet was seven. Is that what he said? I was writing something down. The red beam, I guess, is next. Bug him again. See if it says anything different. I'm also writing down just a list of characters. I'm not sure why. I figure it might be nifty sometime. I have Yosef CW, who we just learned his name is Cecil. Farley, and then something called Mofang, which I think is the name of the alien species, maybe? The people who have entrapped us here. Perhaps. Alright, let's head this way now. Yeah, Red Beam, I guess, is my next objective, maybe? It seems. I think he's supposed to, he is FMV very deliberately. That's just the style that the Cyan guy like, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he himself is a hologram, but he might be. Because the holograms look more deliberately hologrammy, like, uh, like Yosef does, you know. All glitchy and stuff. Same thing with Farley. But he doesn't look glitchy, he just, you know, looks like shitty FMV. But... Like I mentioned earlier, anything's better than the, the 3D models that they went with with Mist 5 and the Vages. Those look terrible. Ambassador Seed Swap Machine Functionality. Oh boy! Radius or Swap Sphere is to find at first swap. Immutable. Seeds recharge naturally from ubiquitous amb ambient membrane power radiation tied to tree health. Um, forcing seed open triggers prep behavior, radius demarcation, small battery added to amplify ambient membrane power, charges continuously, parabolic focusing or power used to trigger seed swap behavior, locking location of swap machines assures predictability, no unanticipated damage, radius demarcation also occurs at same location and destination sphere. Without a pair seed defining the destination swap location, the destination coordinates match the source. Voila, swapping on demand. Is this going to be one of those puzzles where you just have to parse like ludicrous, ludicrously uh, complicated instructions? Because those are my least favorite puzzles in these kinds of games. Where they just put a bunch of bullshit words in front of you and the puzzle is just parsing it. It's very frustrating. Entry canyon. Membrane wall cell question marks. The wall tower locomotive power generator scrapyard garage. I got a sweet hammer weapon finally. Oh no, it's a backer reward item. Linking book. Open it. Open it. It's a linking book. Open it. A. Hey. Mofang solid volume projector. Sound will be handled separately. Oh my god. That's it. Also, notice how the bottom is black. Remember that one glitch that occurred before when the bottom part of images were black? Remember that? I would have never known. Don't you love it? How did we make that unhappen? Let's save. Um, I guess it's autosave. Wow. We need the blue pages. No, red pages. Hey, we fixed it. Huh. <sighs> Okay. Four elements. Radio transmitter, converter, speaker, and video source. We probably need to collect those or something. 
Not sure why I tried this rarely claims it's related to some Farley claims it's related to some desire of mine to shoot everything at everything else. Oh no, does that matter? Ah fuck. Why? Why do you do this? Work around, try changing the in-game resolution. I don't want to change the in-game resolution. It's perfect the way it is. Uh. And it's going to fuck up the screen region. I'll have to do it again. I think we'll be fine until the next time it occurs. Man, what a frustrating bug. Okay. All right. So I can mess with that. There's the video source, whatever it's called. Mofang Disabler. Designed to disable anything based on Mofang technology. Disables when blue beam, blue beam cloud is within about 1.5 feet of any Mofang device element. 1.5 feet of any Mofang. So the blue beam is made to disable a Mofang device. So if there's any Mofang device I want to dis disable, i got to point the blue beam at it. Elements physically collapse recently as possible, but non-trivial. Abrar assures me is not harmful. Still not pointing at my head. We've already tried that. Book, Booko has not been told that the villains provided it. Lock down list. Lock tree gate, lock Farley's house, lock lower tower, lock upper tower. Lift mine cart into workroom, turn on Mofang Disabler, shut garage door, pump water from tree roots, turn on imager rocks, close swing bridge, divert river, turn off power, activate the dome disabler. You know, this is kind of just a to-do list for us, in a way. We've already diverted the river and turned on power, and opened the swing bridge, I think. Or no. No, we haven't. That's the swing bridge would be the one that's on top of the river diverter. The fuck? Why? Oh, I didn't mess with this thing yet, did I? Let me go back around. Can I do anything with it? Uh, I guess I can't. Kind of looks like that dome. Which I can rotate, just like the other dome as well. I can stop it freely. Those are the only two positions, or those are the furthest points. Huh. Yeah, it looks like a model of that dome room. Hit the blue button first. The blue button. Oh, that blue button. How'd I miss that? I missed the blue button. Carolyn. You know what I'm guessing? I bet this is going to ride along the train tracks and then I can use the two stairs to go up and down different paths that it, it completes as it moves along the tracks and rotate it at will and everything like that. 
It's going to be mega cool. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Oh my god. Okay, that's just a battery unit, I guess. Locked in place. Locked and loaded. Gee. And I can't undo it, so that must have just completed that circuit or whatever. ASMR whispering. I'm just going to whisper into the mic the whole stream. Welcome back, Etheron. This is also not plugged into something, which, whatever moves along this train track, I could probably plug this into, I guess, to fill up, to power whatever it is, maybe. It's interesting. And I'm pretty sure I can't undo this. Oh, no, I can undo it if I want to. I'm not sure I do want to. Interesting. Can I turn this one at all? You know, this that device is the same as the one right there. Just this one's activated. Oh. Oh shit, uh. God, what do I want to point it at? I'm scared. There we go. Interesting. It just destroys the the red stuff, the alien artifacts. And now we can't undo it. And that's as far as it can go. Okay. Blues versus reds. That's the plot. Blue versus red. And then what is that red doing? I'm guessing, you know what? I'm guessing that this blue was... There were some rocks there blocking us from going in. And then that blue is what opened it. So I'm also going to need to point one of those at the red rocks down there. Eventually. Did we destroy the red beam? You did. We did not yet, but it's probably one of our goals is to destroy this red beam. I don't know if we can right now, however, unless we can move this. Because right now this is very limited. I mean, it is on wheels. Looks like it could lower. Oh, in fact, that's like a little buggy. Look at it. <laughs> All the buttons that I just blatantly miss. Hey, and I can actually close this. If this is anything like Riven, there could be a, a thing here. Riven had a couple of spots where they hid stuff behind closed doors. 
So, like, you'd have to open a door, and you wouldn't think to turn around and close it. There was one where the door would swing open to the left, and then immediately to the left was a path. So the only way you'd see that path is by turning around and deliberately closing the door behind you. And back then, it sounds like a basic thing, but back then that kind of attention to detail wasn't super common. Oh shit, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Wee. Okay. That just turns on the laser. Uh, I like it. That just turns on what the laser is pointing towards. Interestingly, I can't mess with the the switch on the right. But I probably can point this at the the red thingy, wherever it is from here if I can see it I don't think ribbon was impossible without a guide but there is one particular puzzle that was kind of bullshit and that is the animal stone puzzle because there are some leaps in logic there particularly the fish part of the sequence and then the frog which are just so unlikely to see look up a little up a little. I'm not sure if you're talking about in the thingy or my actual character. Um, the fire marble puzzle wasn't so bad actually, I don't think. Everything does logically lead into one another for that puzzle and we did figure it out on our own, me and my dad. On the right. Look up on the right. Oh! All it does is toggle the display, however. Didn't seem like it. Oh! What was the middle thing there? How come? Okay. W and S. See, now I can control this. Okay. Uh, where's that thing? I'm destroying the shit out of that. Had it. No, not even close. There it is. <laughs> Shit. I'm kind of glad they gave us that control prompt because I honestly probably would have missed it. Oh my fucking god, what did I do? Did I destroy the barrier? Let me exit, let me exit, let me get out. Did I destroy the barrier? Why did they not do that earlier? Where, where was the quickest way to the edge? Killed the dome. Now we have 10 seconds to live. There's a... I just want to confirm. Oh my god, just do it. No! No, 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 no! Come on! Why not? Why can't I go up? Is there a reason? No, it's not fair. Why can't I go up? Is that a glitch? I can't tell if it's a glitch or not. It could be. I could ram this part. I'm going to ram it. Look up. No water power. Ah, fuck. I diverted the water. So now I can't get back up? Fucking shit. The water stopped flowing. 
because I sent it down that way. But I couldn't undo that before. Yeah, it's a glitch. Hey, man, the game's been pretty glitchy so far, to be fair. So now I have to wonder if things are a glitch or not. Let's ram the, the fuck out of this fence. Aw. <laughs> Can I just turn the whole unit around so I'm facing the other way if I want to be? Is there another switch that will turn me? Not really. Talk to the man. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Because he did... Yeah, he mentioned the red laser. He keeps giving me these objectives and then I keep ignoring him after. Alright, man. I did it. I figured it out when you couldn't. Uh, I saw the save icon appear. point to being in here though. Not sure if there is. I don't think there is. Explore the great alien world, but now I want to ride this thing. <laughs> I want to do whatever I got to do with this. I want to go all the different paths. Well, let's go. I guess we could go destroy those rocks that are over there. Or we could start destroying the mayor's beacons that are throughout the place. We can also ride this over there. There's so many things to do. Can I just... Oh, I can. Wonderful. Oh no, did it not work? No! There we go. else over here I can destroy. You know, I almost guarantee you I need to destroy each of the, the Mayor Yosef's pillars. Almost guaranteed that's a big part of the, the overall puzzle. Uh, shit, I don't know if I can see it from here. Yeah, I can't turn it left enough. Fuck. Is there a spot where I will be able to turn it left enough? I guess if I turn... I don't think I can unless I'm turned around, which there's probably just a way further on the track to get this turned around. That's probably the, the trick here. here. See anything else that I want to destroy here? Destroy that windmill. Do it. I know it's not an alien windmill, but yeah. Yeah. Wake up, I'm still on the plane. Chat is mostly just the words from people around you in the hospital. Some of us are just aspects of your mind. Stop fucking with me, chat. I don't appreciate it. You're just a chat, and I'm just a streamer. Okay, this one I can easily destroy. Haha, <laughs> bitch. Okay, and I can go back that way. Oh, what? Come on. 
Oh, you know what? It must have already been set to go that way. Duh, because the, the direction of the lever indicates which way it's going to go. Did I go down that one already? I think I did, but just in case, let's go exploring. Might, I might have missed it. Yeah, that was the one that we thought was connected to that one room. Okay, we cool. You can't ignore your family forever. It's going on. Stop it! Stop it! I don't appreciate this. Yeah, hello again, mister. I realized after the fact. I was like, you know, I hope I can turn these from inside the cart. Save some time. There's got to be a spot where we can turn this around so we can destroy that one. No, this is the one that we had seen that like that. However, it's, that's not the right kind of rock for it to destroy. That's the one I can destroy over there, which I probably yeah. Which I don't know if it'll turn left enough. Uh, yeah, I guess it will. Yeah. Sweet. Stop telling me to wake up. This is you're fucking with me. You're just a chat. You're just a chat. Okay, well I ignore them. Interesting. This is the way it was facing in the first place, right? We didn't turn around at some point. No, we didn't. Let's go left first, since we destroyed the right path. I just want to see where it would have gone. Oh, this is where it turns around. Called it so hard. Wait, hang on, it was... Oh no, does it turn around? Maybe not, never mind. I thought if I do this... Oh, I see. That path would have gone that way. This one goes straight into buttfuck alien land. I don't want to go there yet. Let's go over... Well, I guess maybe I could continue this path, but I haven't explored that way on foot yet. So it makes me a little nervous. Or you know what, I'm probably just supposed to go to the house to destroy that beacon, so I guess I'll just do that first. That's probably the only point of going down there, although there are a lot of tracks. Ah, fuck, I don't know. Alright, we're gonna keep going. Just making a choice, sticking with it. Go to buttfuck land, we're going. We're going. get out for a moment. Hey, I thought I turned off Shadow. What the hell? Eh, whatever. Hmm. I thought I turned off that Shadow. Alright, so there's a thing to destroy. If I can get just the right... Yeah, I could totally do that. <laughs> okay. What's a glitch when you get out of the cart?
Wait, can I see it from here? Okay. Just get an idea of which rock I'm trying to point at here. That one. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Oh, there was a... Oh, no, we missed a beacon. We already destroyed it. Oh, God. First steps into alien buttfuck land. <gasps> what? 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 What is this? This isn't alien buttfuck land at all. It's just more dome. It's just more dome. You don't exist, Mateo. You don't exist. Oh god. I got japed so hard. I was so ready for the purple land. Uh, now I'm in a trash dimension. Great. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know if it's too... No, this is the same dome. It just wrapped. It wrapped around. I think those bugs are spies. I don't think those are actually bugs. A. Hey. Where where am I? I know where I am, but I'm just trying to Okay. Dude, I can launch this sucker. Actually, I got to probably destroy those rocks from here. Is there anything else up here I can destroy? No, it's not fair. God damn it. back and yeah, near the cart oh wow this is nuts this is getting really mind warping okay so the dome kind of just wraps holy shit Nothing but japes here, zero out of ten game. I thought I had a whole world, turns out it's just a tiny dome. Bullshit. And this just goes back to where I just was. Wait, no, no, this is further down the path. Okay. Ugh, that's scary. <laughs> I like this hole. Okay, so that goes somewhere. Everything goes somewhere. Ah, uh, ah, uh, getting overwhelmed. Oh, I'm back at the house. Okay, which we still haven't really explored this way, but. Oh my god, the paths. The paths, Duke. Oh no, a graveyard! Why, why are we in a graveyard? Carl Hunrath. John Farley. Robert Hartnell. Daniel Hartnell. Oh, wait, what's the year on it? 1800s. Benjamin Sims. These might be backers. <laughs> You too can be a corpse in the new mist game. And it just goes back to the house, right? Yeah. Alright. Alright then. I'll never get over that effect. It's so weird. Alright. Alright. 
continue this way. We'll see where this one wraps to. Oh god, they killed all their backers. We just <laughs> we've uncovered the largest mass murder scheme in all of history. All 100,000 backers of abduction. The largest video game murder. Uh that sounds a little bit piercing. Just leads further up the hill, really. Huh. Oh, was that a button? No, just my imagination. I thought I saw a button on the wall. I think I'm going to wrap up this session of abduction in a couple minutes. Um, we'll do more, for, certain, for sure. Oh, we got to destroy that one. I guarantee you, destroying all these is a bigger part of what's going on. A bigger part of the puzzle. Or just some achievement, knowing modern games, but still gonna do it. Why is this called abduction rather than abduction? Um, I think it's a play on words. Uh, apparently, abduction means to overlay something with one another. I did a little bit of research before the stream started. But you're right that you are abducted at the beginning of the game, so... Get it? I think I did. Looks like I did, but I'm gonna double check just to be safe. This dome is overlaid in the purple alien world. Yeah. Yeah, I destroyed it. We are in the upside down. Oh shit. This actually ties into Stranger Things. Dude, this game is really cool. It feels more interconnected in the way that Riven was, because Mist, all the puzzles were relatively arbitrary and separate. Um, whereas in Riven, everything was connected pretty nicely, and this feels more like that, but it also feels like the history is less natural compared to Riven's history. History. Did I already go through that one? I think I did, but... Uh, okay. No, let me out! Let me out! I don't like this! Let me go! <laughs> I have heard of Pissed. I wanted it when I was a kid. My dad wouldn't, wouldn't do it. But apparently it was piss poor. This just leads to where that hole was. Is there any reason to riding this to the end? I could try shooting it just at the dome wall and see what happens. Probably nothing, but... This, uh, this dome is representative of me being trapped in my coma. goes through the edge of the dome, which is interesting. Let's ride this back to the house, and then I'm going to switch to tower climb. Which I don't think I'm going to succeed. I'm a bit too tired. Don't have enough time for a proper run. Um, but we'll at least get some good practice in. probably use those portals to turn this around too. You're trapped, Mr. Anderson. Been living two lives. Senor Anderson. One time Carrie and I watched The Matrix in Spanish. And it was pretty interesting. Learned some Spanish. Like Senor Anderson, then he'd say, Te amo Neil. It's pretty good. Structure sender. <laughs> Ooh. That was where that rock was before. So I guess even if there's no message behind them, there's always like one of those pedestals. 
Oh, and see, that's going to go through the dome, which was what's going to turn me around, or at least bring me to the other end. Ooh, do you see that on top of the house? Now, here's my problem, however. I can't turn this all the way around to destroy that, which kind of sucks. Um, but I think I'm going to need to turn around eventually anyway. I still almost feel like there's a way to turn this around. Let me try something. No. No other switches, right? Ah, oh, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think part of the puzzle is flipping your cart. I'm quite certain at this point, because there's been two so far that I, there's just no way I can reach unless it's turned around. So at some point, the track is going to loop in such a way that I can reorient myself. I think that's the trick. And I have been up there, I'm pretty certain. You can make it, buddy. Um, I think that's where I came out of that one part of the dome, but let's go through here. Mega cool. Making sure there's nothing else I gotta point this at while I'm back here. Yeah, struggling up the hill was a really nice touch, Kyle. I agree. I wonder if I could destroy those obelisks. Nope. I can't. Oh, ramp it off. You're right. I can make that sick jump now. Time to make that sick jump. Oh, oh it was already going the right way. Shit. I always do that. Yeah, sick jump! Oh, God. <laughs> I actually got scared for a second. But it stops here. It does not let me continue. And once again, I'm guessing I'm going to have to turn this around and point at something like that mine shaft down there, maybe. Because uh, otherwise I don't see the point of this dead end. I did not complete the fragments run. I got uh, really close and beefed it at the very end. The last boss. I was getting close to... Okay, so now there's two paths there as well. Let's start on the left one. looking at that object. It's like a washer, but I might want to check it closer. Oh, is this turn around? Yes. This is the loop. We found it just as I predicted. Just as I fucking predicted. Ugh. We don't need to go that way, though. Well, then again, let's see if we need to point this down there. It would have been a slightly cooler puzzle if you had to loop through natural pathways that you would take rather than just a blatant loop, <laughs> you know? But that's okay. Uh... Yeah, son! Yeah! Now we can go destroy those other ones. Solving all the puzzles, yep. We doing it. There's nothing else over that way, right? I think we checked it out already.
Time to fuck up some rocks. Yeah, no joke. You gotta fuck this one up. Something fierce. Yeah, take that rock. Now, is there any point to moving this that way? Was there one I had to face forward for? I don't think there was, but maybe I should go that way anyway just to be safe. Just to kind of do the quick tour. Do the quick tour through. What was the number on Farley's house? That's a good question. And just be safe. I didn't think so, but you never know. I don't think there's any reason going down here with it turned the other way, but I just want to be on the safe side. I don't really see a point otherwise. I know I went through here and destroyed that. Did I ever go check out what was down there? Oh, it looped around, didn't it? That's where I discovered the loop. But where did it loop to? I don't even remember where it looped to. Did it also just lead to the trash area? Okay, doesn't look like there's any point. 420 was the number on our house. Yeah. where I first looped. Okay. Went to Garbo land, the Garbo age. I destroyed that one. I'm just going to check every path again. Just be on the safe side. There's something up here that I can destroy. Maybe the tree one. I'll probably see the tree one from here. Just see it peeking over there. But probably could just see it much clearer from the other way. Otherwise, not really. Let's see it peeking. Oh, maybe I do need to destroy it from there. Probably do, actually. That's probably the point of that path. That might be deliberate. Ooh, did I get it? Yeah, I did it! I did it! See, Etherin, thanks for tuning in, man. That probably is the point of that path. Sweet. Man, if only I knew why I was destroying each of these things. This just goes back to that, which doesn't have a point right now, except for the weird lighting on that. Just totally unintentional. We actually look around Garbo Land not too closely. We could definitely go with for a second look. Uh, we'll go this way first, I guess. Nothing really, as far as I can tell.
Do you want me to tell you why you're destroying the red things? No, I don't. <laughs> I'd really rather you didn't. You know, if we do get rid of that wall, it will free up the path for me to bring this thing down there. I think. But shooting the laser at the wall didn't do anything. And then right probably goes to that marker, which we already destroyed the one out here, right? Okay. So that just goes back, which we don't necessarily need to do. Alright. I think this is the last one off the top of my head. Okay. Ah, I destroyed them all, but nothing happened. As far as I could tell. Unless that's not all of them, which is quite possible. You know, let's try going through that door. Wait, didn't we try that already? Fuck. Hmm. It does nothing. You're shitting me. Does destroying all those really do nothing? Are you shitting me right now? It's gotta do something. I mean, it's just way too deliberate. Explosives to blow up in the rocks. Well, I've been destroying the rocks with the blue things, but it's only certain rocks. Like, do these have items I can pick up? Maybe you can get an achievement? That's gotta be it. It's gotta be a Chivo, which I mentioned earlier might just be an achievement. Um, but, man, that could have been a much more clever puzzle if it was more than an achievement. Is there anything else? And destroy. I have a feeling there's more to this than that, because otherwise I've achieved very little. I guess I could go back and explore Garbo Land. Which I'm just going to run to, so I don't need to worry about tracks. Is there anything else here that I missed? And then this goes to that rock, which I could not destroy, as far as I could tell. It's not a special glowy rock. There's another thing here. One goes that way, the other goes to this dead end. Which I don't think I can open. Doesn't look like it's, it's openable. Let's talk to what's his face. Maybe he'll be like, hey man, you destroyed the red rocks. You cool. You cool, man. Do it. Talk to me, Atris. Come on, Atris. You gotta say something. I hear you. Oh, you let me down. You fucker. Wait, I still hear him. Oh, right. We might be able to do something to the tree.
Wow. Sounds fun. <laughs> Dude, I already connected it for you, man. I already connected. I want your dialogue that acknowledges that I connected your thing. Come on. Oh, you don't want to talk. Later. Ding dong ditch. Uh -huh. Um, okay. We're gonna... That water looks nice. The water on the wall here. So... The tree, right? The tree. Let's go to the tree and then I'm going to wrap up the stream and, well, wrap up this and maybe do one or two runs of tower climb. Just get one solid run is all I'm going to have time for tonight. Going the wrong way? Uh, no. The tree. Where's this go again? It just loops. Okay. I just remember there being a door that I couldn't open at the time. So you can actually see below the tree. Oh look, there's a crank. So I pretty much need to crank that crank before I can get through here. Ooh. Hmm. That's interesting. Let me through. <laughs> Who just let me through? Legend Fragment run. Yep. It's gonna happen. Alrighty. Well, let's see. There's a yellow cable connecting to the tree. See if I park that there. Nah, I can't really shoot anything meaningful. The tree base thing. There's the yellow cable, which heads up to the water well, which I can't get to yet. Man, okay, I think I'm hitting the wall here, and this is a good point to stop anyway, so I have some time to do some tower climb. Uh, just wondering, other Vine Sauce members have cheer into which Y isn't KY? Is it optional? I think it is optional. Uh, I just haven't enabled it yet. I might consider it, but I just haven't thought about it too much, to be honest. Would you guys want the ability to cheer? Water well is a pipe that goes off of it that might be ex worth exploring next time. Yeah. So I guess next time I stream this, we're just gonna explore till we figure out what to do next. Um, there's uh, inevitably some powered stuff now that was not powered before, so I gotta be careful about that. Ride the cart over the tracks. Which tracks? As far as I know, there's no way to connect it up there yet. There's probably a, an edge of the dome I haven't explored yet either. In fact, I remember they're going to the edge of the dome um, on the far end of somewhere along this path. There's also that little doorway we opened on the other side of the river. Okay, I'm going to leave a couple notes for myself for next time. Uh... So, next time, um, we're looking at dome wall past generator, 
and we're gonna think about the mine shaft shaft near river is there anything else anything else that you guys think I should jot down on my next time list for this game explore Garbo world good let's do that explore Garbo age that's what I'm calling it um, AKY it's your Uncle Vinny if you wake up I'll give you a nice slice of pizza I didn't remember to activate the beta latency reduction I could do that real quick and then come back and see how much of a difference it makes. Um, run against the dome walls, ding dong ditch, CW. <laughs> yeah, there's probably some more dome wall parts that I've just missed, so I'm just going to write dome walls as a general one. Dome walls. So next time, dome wall past generator. I think there was one back there. Um, mineshaft near river we opened a path to. We can explore the Garbo Age. There might be something waiting for us there that we didn't catch the first time. And the dome walls in general we can explore. Um, we got to figure out a way to get up there at some point as well. All right. And I would love, here's the thing too, I would love to get this elevator reactivated, but I'm not sure how on earth I would do that. Uh, because if I get that elevator reactivated, there was a path up there. Unless the path up there was from a different way, and I'm just conflating the two. But I'm quite certain it was. I mean, how did I... Unless they connect... Unless they connect through here, and I just didn't realize. My favorite food, and why are you doing social eating of said food? I don't think I'm ever going to do social eating, to be honest with you. Unless it's something interesting. If it's just my, like, normal, you know, fluffernutter or PB&J sandwich or ramen or some shit, I'm probably not going to do it. But if I ever eat something really interesting, I might. If it's just my regular dinner, no thanks. Oh, here's a path I haven't gone. I have not explored um, all the way along these tracks. I don't think. Did I, I don't think I ever walked up through here, did I? So that's another path. I'll put this on my next time. That might be the first thing I should do next, because that's a pretty clear path that I missed. So, um... Tracks near CW Floor 2. My favorite food? Ah, uh, man. That's really tough for me to answer. I love burritos. Um, I really love, uh... Chinese food in general, pad thai. I love Indian. I just love so much food. God damn, I can't choose a favorite, which I know is like the most boring answer in the world, but it's tough. It's tough. You had your first bowl of instant ramen, use some cooking tips. Yeah, dude, you just got to put an egg in it, maybe a little bit of beef. Be nice. Okay. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to take a very quick break. I am going to come back. I'm going to do some tower climb. Um,. But first, I'm going to activate that, uh, whatchamacallit, that, um, that reduced latency beta option in my Twitch settings, and we'll see what happens. We'll see if it helps with the uh, latency. So we'll try that out, too. Stick around. Uh, I'm going to be right back. <laughs> 